But welcome back friends to Build A Lot Acres. My name's Case and in today's video we're going to discuss can you burn pine? Well, let's get into it. So I actually did a video about burning pine probably a year and a half or so ago. And that video did fairly well, got good views. And I think the reason for that is because it's such a big myth in the firewood community and the firewood burning world that people want to know the truth of the matter, which is what we're gonna uncover today. Can you burn pine? Should you burn pine, et cetera, et cetera. Let's start off with some of the myths, the reasonings you're gonna hear as to why you can't burn pine, because you're gonna notice a trend. A, you're going to hear the same two or three excuses as to why you can't burn pine. You're going to notice when you challenge the opinion of that person, they can't explain it in more detail. They just keep repeating the myth instead of giving you a better answer. They just keep saying the same thing over and over again. And you're also going to notice something else. Most of the people that say that either don't burn wood, they burned wood for a very limited time a long time ago, or they heard it from someone that burns wood. So they don't have any personal first-hand experience with the myths and you can tell right off because anyone that's actually burned wood for a long time and kind of actually learned about burning wood watch videos like these joined forums with other people that have decades of wood burning experience quickly realized the whole you can't burn pine myth is silly it's completely silly to believe such a myth and we're going to get into why in today's video so let's start off with the first myth you might hear the sap of the pine is flammable and it's gonna cause fires. Okay, let's look at this with an open mind. Do other trees have sap? Birch trees, maple trees. What do we make maple syrup out of? Sap. So if sap is the culprit and that's the root of all evil, why can we burn maple trees? Why can we burn birch trees? Why can we burn other trees that have sap if sap is the problem? I mean, Someone tell me if I'm wrong, but does that make any sense to anyone? Sap is not the issue. Sap is just a convenient excuse to throw your myth at and you know it's gonna stick because sap is sticky, but sap is not the culprit. Another one you might hear that I, this is one of my personal favorites, is they're gonna say, pine causes a lot of creosote in the chimney and therefore you might get a chimney fire. While I agree, Creosote itself can cause chimney fires. What is magical about pine that causes extra creosote over other woods? No one's ever been able to answer me that question. And for good reason, there is no answer. What causes creosote, one of the biggest things is unseasoned wood with high moisture content. Whether that's pine, oak, hickory, maple, beech, birch, locust, any unseasoned wood with a high moisture content is gonna create creosote. It's not a pine issue, it's an unseasoned wood issue, which is the most important thing to burning wood. That's why my very first video was moisture content in the series. It's one of the most important things you have to understand about burning wood is you want moisture content that's below 20%, no matter the type of wood. So instead of blaming pine, we should be blaming moisture content. And people should start a myth, not a myth, it would be true in this case, then you start a myth saying, don't burn unseasoned wood. That's what you should be telling people, not don't burn pine, don't burn unseasoned wood. Because that would be way more truthful, it would help a lot more people than telling them not to burn pine. So I think the only other one I've really heard is that you can't burn pine because it's a softwood. It's like, what do you think they burn in the Pacific Northwest of the United States, Canada, a lot of European countries, areas where there's only softwood trees available? They might have other softwood trees, fir, hemlock, spruce, you know, whatever, but what's special about pine amongst the softwood trees that you can burn all these other types? You don't hear you can't burn fir, you don't hear that you can't burn spruce, you don't hear that you can't burn hemlock, it's always pine. I don't know why, but pine gets a bad rap and it's one of the most commonly burned trees in a lot of those areas I just mentioned, because that's all they have is softwood trees and pines, whether it be 
eastern white pine, red pine, lodgepole pine, ponderosa pine. There's a lot of different types of pine and a lot of people burn them throughout the year. They might burn 10 quarts of pine because you do need more pine to equal the same amount of BTUs as you do a lesser amount of hardwood. Pine does have less BTUs per cord than a lot of the hardwoods are gonna have, that's true. And I've talked about that in the BTU video, which was my second video in the series, which you should understand what BTUs are and what they mean as far as burning wood. But that's one of the things, you know, you're gonna see is all these areas, Pacific Northwest, like I said, Canada, a lot of European countries, a lot of areas that are north as far as, you know, where they are latitudinal wise, are gonna burn softwoods because that's all they have. The further north you go, the less the trees, less types of trees go. It's called the Alpine region. And you're gonna know this is pretty much only softwoods. So they burn what's available. Are we gonna pretend that they truck in hardwood trees or firewood from thousands of miles away and pay these exorbitant amounts of money for their firewood? Or is it more likely that they actually just burn softwoods that are locally available to them, which would make sense and what is what they do, because I know they have multiple friends that live in those areas I'm on multiple forums they have people that live in those areas and I can give you testimonials that that's what they burn is what's available and a lot of times that's only softwoods they would love to have some of the hardwoods I have here some of the oaks hickories maples etc but they just don't have that option so they burn what they have and that's pine so I, that's what I would say if someone tells you you can't burn pine first ask them why and then tell them what what do you think they burn in these areas that only have softwood trees if they start saying they truck wood in or they don't burn wood i mean come on that's just silly you can pretty much just write it off as they're i don't want to say they're clueless but that tells you right there that you're dealing with someone that has no clue what they're talking about no one that knows anything about firewood is going to say that nonsense they're going to say yeah that makes sense they burn what's available they burn softwood they can burn them and I think the last kind of myth we're going to talk about that you might hear is, oh, those are different climates, so it affects the burning of the wood differently than in other states. What does that even mean? They have different climates. Okay, so they have less humidity in the air. They get less rainfall. They get more sun. I mean, is that some kind of magical concoction that makes pine burn better than it does here in Massachusetts or maybe in some other state? That doesn't even make sense. They have different environment conditions. Yeah, okay, so what you're really probably saying, or what you should be saying is, their wood season's at a quicker rate than ours, so they can burn it quicker than us, okay. But if you let your wood burn, if you let your pine season to that 20% or below, it doesn't matter if you have more humidity in your area or if you get more rain, you're gonna let it get to that 20% and it's gonna burn just as well once you get below that 20% as it does in the alpine areas. Yeah, they might have, you know, thinner air, they're higher altitude, but there's no magical secret is for their air that they can burn pine. Air is air. I mean, humidity is humidity. Science is science. So when someone starts arguing with you, send them to this video. Tell them to watch this video. If they want to tell me why you can't burn pine, leave it in the comments and I'll answer them directly. We'll have a good discussion going, but I think you're going to see at the end of the day they're going to realize that they're wrong. Like I said, I've been on multiple forums throughout the years. One of the, the best firewood forums for those who are interested, Firewood Hoarders Club. It's a bunch of people from all over the world with tons of years of experience. Some of the people on there have been burning wood for over half a century. So 50 plus years of wood burning experience for one member. You have a lot of people like that in these forums and I can tell you the general consensus is overwhelmingly all that you can burn pine. We actually have threads where we laugh about these kind of myths. So if you're interested, Firewood Hoarders Club, there's actually quite a few of us that have YouTube channels. And I know some of them are probably watching this video smiling right now. But I do hope you enjoyed this video. This one was a little more spirited than some of the other videos in this series. But that's only because it's just a good good topic and it makes me chuckle when I hear people say you can't burn pine. I hope this video gets lots of views and a lot of people realize you can burn pine. What you should be telling people is you can't burn unseasoned high moisture content wood. That would be a better statement. But I'll see you guys next time.